We can now move on to the data section, which will be starting in uh, row 6. And under the data section, we'll have the principal loan amount, the interest rate, the loan period in years. Sometimes you need to let the user know. They might want to put it in as months. Then you'd have to make sure you consider that in your formula. So you want to make sure it is in years. You have your monthly interest. You have your total interest paid. Total principal paid. Your total payments. And you have a check figure. One thing I like to do is I like to name my cells. So I'm going to name each of these cells. The way you name cells is you just click on the cell. In, in this case, I'm choosing C8. And I go up into the name box. And I'm going to call this principal loan amount. Under interest rate, I will call this interest rate. Each time I'm just using left mouse button to click up here in the top. Uh, this is loan period in years. Next one is monthly interest. Now it's going to give me an error message. You notice I put a space in there. Watch this. This is the error message that will go up if you try to put spaces in your range names or use numbers as the beginning of your range names or, or weird characters. Just use uh, normal alphabetic characters and uh, you shouldn't have any problem with having invalid range names. So this is your monthly interest. We have uh, total interest paid. We have total principal paid. We have total payments. And I'll even give this one a, a name check figure, even though I don't believe I'll refer to it later on. One thing you might want to be aware of, let's say we didn't want this space here between uh, data section and principal loan amount. We can click on the row, uh, left mouse click, and then right mouse click and choose delete, and that gets rid of that row. If you really did want it, uh, you could go control Z, which undo, undoes it, or um, I'm going to redo that. If you see up here, I'm going to uh, undo that. Sorry, I guess that didn't work. Uh, I'm going to right-click this and just delete it again. If I wanted to insert row, another thing you can do is you can right-click and choose Insert, uh, or you can go Alt, and that Alt brings up these uh, menu options. You can see these are hotkeys for other things that you might choose to do. But I'm going to choose I for Insert, which is an Office 2003 access key. This is actually an older hotkey for this. Um, and then R. That's another way. And then I'm going to right click it again, delete, and I'll use the Office 2007. Alt. And you see insert is an N here. N. And then um, see if it'll choose R. Okay, so then um, So if we go here and uh, choose insert from this, then, you, then it puts it back in. It doesn't look like uh, under the uh, hotkey, Alt, N, standing for insert, that there's an option for row here. At least uh, that's, I don't see that as an option here. Anyway, I'm just hitting the escape button to get out of that. So we've got our data section uh, titled, and we have the, the various cells named. Uh, now what we can do is we can start putting in values. Uh, the variables that you'd expect the user to input would be the loan amount, let's say $20,000. Uh, the interest rate, 0.1 is how you could input it. Or the user might put in 10%. Uh, now if you put in 0.1, it also shows up 10%. So and it actually automatically formats if you put it in 10 and then the percent symbol. If you just 
uh, put in point one, then you'd have to later go to the home and uh, choose to hit the percent formatting if you if you want to take that approach. Anyway, go ahead and delete that. The loan period in years, let's say it's a four-year loan. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hold the shift button down and go end up. So it highlights these cells. It stops at this blank row because there's nothing in it. And um, we're going to change the color here to maybe a, maybe an olive color. And um, we'll put a bold around it, a thick, thick box border around it. It doesn't look very thick. Let's see, OK. Looks good. Down below, we can start doing the math then for monthly interest payment. The monthly interest payment would be, as you know from a, a previous class, principal, which is the loan amount, times the rate, times the time period, which would be one month divided by 12, because we want to know the monthly. If you don't want to do uh, times one divided by 12, as you know, something multiplied by one divided by 12 is the same as that number divided by 12. So you can just do this divided by 12 like that. And I tend to use um, parentheses to make sure that the order of precedence of the mathematical operations occur in the order that I want them to. The innermost parentheses will occur first, and then they work their way out. So this is the way that I make sure that that happens. Uh, so that's up to you how you choose to show that math. Um, the first way is probably more exact with what you've learned, but this is algebraically the same thing. Next, to know the total interest to be paid over the life of this loan, you would simply take the monthly interest and you multiply it by the years, and then you have to multiply that by 12 because there's uh, 12 months in a year. So that would be $8,000 being paid over 48 months. Next, the total principal is simply the amount borrowed in the beginning. Therefore, the total payments would be the total interest plus the total principal paid. We'll worry about the check figure later. But effectively, the check figure will be these total payments, and then we deduct the total payments down in our schedule below. So if you've got that, uh, we're pretty well set to move on into the data section, into the answer section.